Hey guys, my name is Maria and this is Apollo joining me again today and welcome to another video. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is being filmed at night. So Apollo is joining me today for like the third time in a row because he was out of his cage the least today. So I thought it would be only fair to take him out right now and have him spend some more time with me. It's the only fair thing. Even if that quality time is filming a video. Right, bud? Today's video is going to be another informative one where I'm just going to talk and discuss and comment and all that good stuff. So for today's video, I am going to list the top five worst things about having parrots as pets. And I would like to mention that this list is in no particular order. Number one is not worse than number five and vice versa. So let's get into the video. So let's start with number one. The number one worst thing about having parrots as pets is just how expensive they are. I know that I have mentioned this on my channel before and I thought that this would be the perfect time to mention it again. It was necessary. So parrots require a really big spending account. So not only are they super expensive to buy initially, like this guy over here was $6,500 and that was actually a steal for how rare of a bird he is. But parrots can go much higher than that and we have a lot of them, so we've definitely spent our fair share on these magnificent creatures because they are not, not a cheap entertainment by any means. And if you guys have seen a previous video that I did about my sick bird Aria and her beak and feather disease diagnoses. It breaks my heart. I actually took her to the vet to get her tested for a bunch of stuff and to get her to do a checkup because she was losing feathers and on that checkup alone I spent about $500 so that is just an idea of how much birds are especially because you have to take them to a specialty vet you know, you can't take them to a cat and dog vet because those doctors did not know how to work with exotic creatures. Also, birds go through a lot of toys because as you can see how big this guy's beak is, most birds have very big beaks and if not big, all of their beaks are strong. So. They like to entertain themselves by destroying all kinds of toys. They don't stand a chance, but my... Wooden toys, rope toys, different materials of toys. And they can destroy those toys very, very quickly, like to shreds, where there's nothing left of that poor toy. So... You're talking about changing toys for your birds once a week, if maybe at the most once every two weeks, but that adds up. Also, I didn't even mention that not only is the price of the bird very high when you buy them initially, but the stuff that you have to get for them, like cages and entertainment and then good quality food palettes, it's a lot. Cages can go thousands of dollars. It's literally horrifying. Because you want the biggest cage and the best. 
for your birds. Those are just some of the expenses that come with owning a bird. Those are definitely not all of them. Those are just some of the ones that stood out to me the most. Number two. So the second worst thing about owning a pet bird is, in my opinion, the mess. Birds are probably one of the messiest pets, messiest pets that you can own that I have ever come across. I've had guinea pigs, ferrets, dogs. I have not had a cat because I'm allergic, but I would have if I wasn't allergic. And those pets don't come close to how messy these guys are. Truth be told, I probably spent at least an hour every single day mopping the floor, vacuuming, cleaning up poop. You know, birds, they poop whenever they want, wherever they want. And even though that's a negative for many people, I find that as much as it is a negative, the positives of having a bird as a pet far outweigh the negatives. But it's definitely not for everyone, and birds not only poop wherever they want, but when they go through toys super fast, as I've mentioned, they destroy those toys into tiny little pieces. Because look at how big and massive and strong this guy's beak is. He can take apart nuts in a matter of seconds. That's how destructive these beaks are. Who knows how much more damage it can do. And that means that they can also destruct and just break down any kind of toy you'll ever give them. Even toys that come with coconut parts, even those toys go fast. And then when they destroy those toys, those little pieces are everywhere everywhere they are in their cage they're outside of their cage they're even a little bit further from their cage okay then <laughs> but it's it's a lot and it's a lot of cleaning and it's just a lot of time spent maintaining their cages and just their surroundings in order to keep them clean. So a lot of time, energy is spent on maintaining cleanliness around these messy creatures. Exhausting. I should- Number three. The third worst thing about having a pet bird Although this could definitely be either a negative or a positive, it could be the worst or the best thing, is their lifespan. Birds can live very, very long time. And I know for a lot of people, that's definitely a negative because, you know, that is a lifetime commitment and you're going to end up having this bird for probably the rest of your life especially bigger birds like macaws and African greys. Those guys are probably going to be with you for most of your life, if not the rest of your life. If not, you will probably have to pass it down to someone else when you're gone. So that is scary and is a negative to a lot of people. Horrifying. Horrifying. Because a lot of people don't want that long and that kind of a commitment. So other pets definitely live a much more manageable lifetime, like hamsters or dogs even. They don't live that long and it's not a lifelong commitment. For me though, the lifespan of a bird is a big positive because I've dealt with a lot of pet deaths in my life and it's heartbreaking and I hate it. And it's just comforting to know that the chances of these birds living a long time, if I take care of them properly and I keep them healthy and happy, is a long time. I love that idea. Greatest news ever. Although, of course, the sad news that we got recently about one of our birds having a very contagious 
viral disease has put a damper on that, but I'm still hopeful and we are still in the process of testing the other birds. So hopefully with God's grace and prayers, the other birds don't have it and they can live long and ha happy and healthy lives. Number four. Sorry if my position changed a little bit. I had to go get Apollo because he wanted to fly to me, but he was being kind of lazy. So I went and I got him. So the fourth worst thing about having pet birds is just how prone to health issues they really are. It keeps getting worse! Birds are actually very prone to respiratory issues. They have really little hearts and, you know, their bodies are really small. So oftentimes they can have problems breathing. If there's dust or any kind of dander or anything in the air like that. So it's important to keep their surroundings super clean and also it is pretty important to get a few humidifiers if you have birds because they keep the air clean and birds, certain birds can be really dusty. For example, our cockatoo especially and our African gray, those two, there's so much dust that comes off of them that it's it's hard to keep it 100% clean all the time. So humidifiers and air purifiers, they really help with the quality of the air. I ain't joking. Also, birds are prey animals. In the wild, they are the ones that are haunted and attacked and followed and pursued and all of that kind of stuff. So these birds also are really good at hiding their health issues. So a bird can be perfectly fine and there could be something seriously wrong with them health-wise. So it's also really important if you see any kind of change in your bird with behavior or anything, it's important to take your bird to the vet right away to make sure that they're okay because when they actually show signs of an illness, it is most of the time too late and the bird might not be able to come back from that. Also, because they're so sensitive to health issues, it is very important to take birds to their annual health exam. Those health exams, they can rule out any potential problems that could be lying in wait inside of your bird and you can hopefully fix it ahead of time so that it doesn't become a bigger problem in the future and you're not at a risk of losing your beloved bird. Number five. So in my opinion, the fifth worst thing about having a pet bird, in my opinion, is their egotistical personalities. Birds are not like dogs. Whereas dogs are devoted to you and they warm up to you and they love you from the very beginning. You really are a man's best friend. There's a reason they call dogs a man's best friend because the dog is gonna be loyal to the end. With birds, they don't really care about being nice to you or being devoted to you, or anything like that. So birds are egotistical creatures. They don't care about pleasing you. They don't care. They care about eating, surviving, sleeping, playing with their toys. If you have patience and you take the time to properly train your bird and bond with them, and if you have the patience and perseverance to keep bonding with your bird, keep loving your bird, keep training them, keep doing all the things for them. Never giving up. 
then eventually they will love you and they can bond to you and you will be their person. And I actually find that because they're so much harder to win over and win their trust, that bond is like 10 times stronger than any kind of bond I've ever had with a dog. Whereas dogs accept you right away, birds take longer. But once they're bonded to you, it is something that I have never experienced from an animal before. And so for me, that's actually something that I really appreciate and I really love about having birds as pets. Oh great, now you're being sweet, huh? You were all nippy. Now you're sweet. Oh look, he's floofing. Are you floofing? Yeah, that means that he's in, he wants me to pet him and he's loving the scratches. Finally, somebody warmed up to mommy. What took you so long? So those are my top five worst things about having birds as pets. Of course, this is not an exclusive list. I'm sure there's a lot more. Just as there's a lot of amazing reasons to have birds as pets, but I thought I would mention the worst ones to discourage anybody who is not ready for these things to maybe, you know, decide not to get a to get a bird because Birds as pets are not for everyone. They're not for a lot of people. They're definitely for the few. So those are my top five reasons why birds make the worst pets. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. But if you can think of any other ones that I missed or just that you came up with, please put them in the comments below. I would love to hear any other reasons why you think having birds as pets is not the greatest idea. I would love to read those. And also, as always, thank you guys so much for supporting me, for watching my videos, for subscribing. I really appreciate it and it really helps me keep going and making these videos and loving what I'm doing and taking the time to do it because I just want to spread the knowledge about birds that I have experienced and gained the experience in the last year or so and I want to keep spreading that knowledge. Information is power. Because not many people know what having birds as pets really entails. And so with that, thanks guys so much for watching and we hope to see you in our next video. Right, Bob? Yeah, right. Bye guys.